just the volume of samples in the DJ Pro AI app. I'm DJ Spiegelspin, and in this video, I'm going to show you all the steps you need to take in order to change the volume of the built-in samples in DJ Pro AI. So every time I make a video about the awesome sampler in the DJ Pro AI app, a lot of people comment and they say that they wish you were able to control the individual volume of each sample, so like if there was a gain slider or something like that, and if we could add effects to these samples. So uh, I tried so many different ways and I found a workaround on how to change the volume and add effects to these samples. There's a lot of steps, but once you get it down, it's not too difficult. So that is what I'm going to show you in this video. So if you look down here, they give us a volume slider. And now, now this is a volume slider for all the effects. So if we do, if we do the air horn, that's full volume. And then half volume is this. So it's the same thing with the other effects. So this is half volume with laser, full volume. But what if you wanna have the air horn in a different volume and then the laser in, in a different volume and you wanna have more control? So this is what I'm gonna show you. So this is the original air horn sound that comes in the DJ sound effects package in the sampler. So this is it. And this is a custom one I made with adjusted volume. I named it Airhorn 2.0. So it's lower and then gets louder. That's usually how I do the air horn. And in order to perform that live, you would just put the volume lower and then press the air horn a couple times and raise it. But there's no way to record this into a custom sample. So what we're gonna have to do, if we wanna adjust the volume or add anything or take anything away from these samples, here are the steps. First, we're gonna to go to record. We are going, if you press the middle button up here, you could record. So this records anything that you're doing on the DJ Pro AI app, as long as you're not using streaming services because it won't let you record if you're using streaming services. So we hit record, start recording, and then now we are going to add an air horn. So there we go, that's the air horn and it is recorded. Stop recording. Now we are gonna load it into a deck. We just take that recording and we're gonna load it. Now, instead of having this sample in the sampler, it is in our deck. So this is what it sounds like in the sampler. This is what it sounds like in the deck. So. Let's, for example, I'm just going to add add an echo. I am going to lower the volume in half, add a filter, just kind of mess with this and show you guys something that's kind of weird and kind of interesting. So that is what it sounds like with the effect, with the filter, and with the volume adjusted. So DJ Pro makes it easy to add anything on a deck into the sampler by doing this. You go down here, you press this pencil down here, and then you press these three dots, and then you go to My Samples, and then you go to up here. It, it may look like it's not there, but you have to scroll all the way up. And now there's Deck 1 and Deck 2. So in order to record a sample from a deck, we're gonna hold in Deck 1 or Deck 2 for as long as we want the sample to be recorded. So let's do that. Keep in mind that this is on the screen, it's adjusted, it has an echo, it has a filter, and we changed the volume. We did a lot to alter this, and it sounds like this. Okay, so now we go over here, and we're just gonna record this into the sampler like I just showed you. So we go over here, and we're going to rec my samples, and we're gonna record. So you could hear that it recorded with this with the effect. You could hear that it recorded with the adjusted volume, but when we load it onto the deck, it didn't it didn't record any of that. So it sounds it sounds exactly like the original one. So 
And this is because when you record a sample, it only records the deck. It doesn't record the volume. It doesn't record the effects. It doesn't record the filter. It just records the deck that is playing, and that's how you make your sample. So a way to work around this, this is the biggest trick. Instead of just recording it and then putting it into a deck, now we are going to record it. We're going to do a second recording. So it's not one recording, it's two recordings. We're going to do a second recording of it with the effects and with the volume changes. Whatever you guys want to do, you want to add effects, you want to half the volume, you want to raise the volume by raising the gain, then you could do that, but you just have to do this step. We are going to hit record again. So now it's going to record the it's going to record the air horn sample with all of the alterations we did it and then we could put that into a deck without changing anything on the mixer and then we'll be able to record it so we do this recording start a new recording and then there we go so now we got to stop the recording load it into a deck load it into a deck and now we're going to put our mixer back in the original position. And then this is what it's gonna sound like. This is a recording on the deck with nothing altered. So here we go. So there it is. That's what we wanna put into our sampler. And now we go back to the other step. We go over here and then we are going to go and record this as a sample but there's nothing changed on the mixer. It was just changed in our recording. So it should allow us to do a little workaround and get this altered sample back into our sampler box. Okay, so we're gonna go over here. Deck two. Oh wait, let's make sure we're at the right spot right there. And we are gonna go to deck two and we're just gonna simply hold it in for as long as we want it to be recorded. Boom. And now we are going to add that into our sample. So this is the original air horn. And that is the one that we made with the adjustments. So those are the steps that you have to take if you want to adjust the gain, adjust what the sample sounds like, because there is no way to add effects in the sampler screen. There is no way to change the volume of the individual tracks. So this is the only workaround that I have found that you could actually change and manipulate these built-in samples. And you could also do it with your own samples. I made a lot of videos on how to record and add your own samples into the sampler. So if you wanna add effects to those, then you could do it in the same type of way. So if we go over here, this is one of my favorite samples that I recorded is this is insane. So all I have to do, if I wanna add an echo and maybe change the volume of it, is I'm just gonna go record, start a new recording. Stop the recording, load it into a deck. Boom, it's loaded into the deck. And then I could go adjust the gain, turn up the highs, turn up the mids, and then at the end, I'm gonna put an echo on it. So it's gonna sound like this. This is insane. Okay. So just to show you guys, if I just go, if I just go to adjust it, if I just go to re-record it, if I go to re-record it without doing the extra step, this is this is it doesn't do anything. So all we have to do is a second recording of whatever you want the mixer, whatever you want the effects to be, you do a second recording, start a new recording, simply play it. This is insane. Boom, stop the recording, load the recording back up, Go over here, now go to our sampler, and record it again. 
This is insane. And now we press the button. So the original one. This is insane. And then there we go. It's easy. It's just a couple of extra steps. It could be time consuming. It could be annoying, but there is a way to adjust the volume and adjust the sound of these samples. There's just a couple extra steps. So if you want to learn more hidden features, learn all you could do with DJ Pro AI, then subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and let me know in the comments if there's any questions, if you guys can't get this right, or if you need me to explain it a little bit better, because I know it is a little bit complicated, but once you once you master it, it is pretty cool to do.